It's DDK and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me on your big screen video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. We about to go out here and scope. Now, today I'm going to do something that I've always wanted to do. And this is going to be my first time doing it. And that is review a brand new app. This app is actually a catering app. Now, I'm gonna review it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a disclaimer right now. The owner does not want me to tell everybody what the app is yet because he's still getting everything situated. So I need you guys to hit that notification bell and make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a review on the app in the near future. So make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell. But it's time for us to get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. Now, on this video, I'm gonna tell you guys the things I like and the things I don't like about this app. So put that right there. This is how the orders come in. Now, before I get into that, some of you may know this app. It's very few of you who is gonna know this app, but if you do, please do not put it in the comment section below. Do not. If you do, I'm embracing your comment. I'm telling you right now. Do not put it in the comment section below. The reason I'm saying this is because the owner specifically told me he do not wanna get bombarded with a whole bunch of signups yet because he still has to get a lot of stuff situated. So please do not put the app down in the comment section below. Now, it's time for us to go. As you guys can see this photo, this is how the orders come in. As you guys can see, it has the pickup location, it has the drop off location, and then it has the payout. So you must hit accept. Now, from what I'm seeing, you have to hit accept in order for you to see if you're gonna keep the order or not. It's kind of similar to deliver that. If you did not want to keep the order, you can go ahead and hit this arrow right here. You're gonna to go to the top right hand corner and you're gonna decline the order. So you must accept it first, and then if you don't want it, you can decline it. So that's how that goes. So that's okay, that's not that bad. Um, something else I noticed that I, honestly, this I don't like. That, that I don't like, oh, bang. I don't, bang, bang. This is something I do not like. Something I do not like about this app is it doesn't tell you how many items you're picking up or the order cost. I do know that Deliver tells you how many items you're gonna pick and the order cost and also Deliver that does explain to you guys exactly how much food you're picking up. So even if you don't know how many items it is, you kind of can get an estimation on how many bags or how many boxes and stuff you're gonna pick up. Because if you want to, you can just go ahead and go on Google and find out uh, what they have on the menu and look like an average price of how much the items cost. And then you kind of get an idea from there. But this one, it doesn't tell you that, which I don't like that. So that's my first thing starting off. Um, we are gonna go to the uh, pickup location, which is Roti, R-O-T-I, get to this money. You already know why, because we love getting this money. So the pickup location, then we had the drop-off location. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the app. So stay tuned and stick around, because we ain't playing around. And we are here at the pickup. We are here trying to get bucks. Like, hey, so what, baby? <laughs> Let's see if they got this joint ready. It's a whole bunch of food in here, see? And I don't know exactly what I'm picking up, so we're gonna see. Let's see what they're talking about. I'm gonna have a catering order to pick up. What's the, where is it's it going to Hollister. Hollister, okay, one second. All right, thank you. Okay. So I'm talking about an easy joint. I ain't gonna need these two bags. I only need one bag. I'm gonna get this bag, baby. These joints are a little hefty, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Block. I want that little weight to them. That right there. This right here. We got this. It's like the sauce. Too much sauce. Try to make it right here so it don't move. <laughs> zip this joint up. Zip, 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 zip it up. Zip it up, baby. Just like that. We gone. I'm gonna pull up and get in our zone. Let's go. <clears throat> Y'all see this joint, baby. Y'all see what's going on. I just met a, a brand new subscriber. We just got a new subscriber. So she's trying to turn up. She's watching this video. We're gonna put this right here. And then also for this app, you do have to take a photo before you leave. So you gotta make sure you, everything is in a bag and everything. They ain't playing about these bags. So we got it in the bag and with the photos, man, we gone. And we are here at the drop off location. I talked to the guy and he said he's on his way down here. So I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. Maybe he's gonna come to this door. I don't know. I don't know. A few moments later. I went to ring the doorbell. I didn't know where to go. Yeah, he's here, place. So he, he took the 
Not the least resistance. I do. Smart man. That's how I always try to do it. So we're gonna walk the entire length of the building now. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna get some exercise, huh? That's right. Yeah. So is that you with the two six two area code? Yes. Where are you from? Um, I actually live not too far. I live in Gurnee, but okay. I lived in Kenosha. Like oh, when I went to high school, I had this number for so long yeah, since yeah. 2006. I'm a 414. Oh yeah, oh Milwaukee, yeah, yep. yeah. I saw the 262. Yeah. When you called, I'm like, and we're sitting in a meeting. I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> obviously it? scam. Yep. I look. I'm glad you asked her. <laughs> yeah. So what do you what do you guys do here? Uh, we do medical supplies. Oh, okay. We don't Mm -hmm. That's why you make the big bucks in corporate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this enough space here? It should be. Some stuff are going to have to sit on top of each other, but other than that, it should be okay. Unless you guys want it a certain way or anything. No, no, no. Just, just go unpack. Yeah, put the bread here and then. The chips. I don't know where to put it. Um, Cause this is the pita bread here. You want to put it in the back? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Step back in on the photo. Smack. You got that. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. You have a good one. So let's go ahead and get into it. What do I think about the app? Before we get into that, I do want to say this. I did notice that after I was picking up the order, that it did not tell me how many miles away from the pickup location, the drop-off location was. So that's another thing that I think they should probably switch up if they can. Um, but it was only like 0.9 miles, and I forgot to tell you guys the pay. The pay was $25. All together, it literally probably took 15 to 17 minutes all together to make that $25. So it's very easy, very sweet, very simple. Now, just so you guys know, with this app, you're going to receive a minimum of $25. That's the minimum. It also does have a tip pool, which is similar to the deliver that order. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why they have the tip pool. The reason why they have the tip pool is because majority of those orders that we take to like the dentist offices and the, uh, the, the medical offices, majority of those orders do not have tips unfortunately now i think it's because like the reps and everything they only get a certain amount of money they get to spend on the food and everything so they also get charged fees to order the food so from what i've heard from an actual rep is that they get overcharged pretty much that's what, they, that's what she told me the lady told me that they pretty much get overcharged going through easy cater so that's the reason why they don't really give the tips out as much as they would like to is because they're on a budget and they can't give it out that many tips. That's what, that's what she told me. So in order to try to keep it kind of fair, they do have a tip pool, which some people hate the tip pool and some people don't mind it. Me personally, all I do, all I want to do is get this money regardless of how, however it comes, it don't matter. Pause. If I get it uh, with the tip pool or without the tip pool, because I would rather have an order that's kind of decent versus having one that's only 10 or 15 or $20, but I can get $25 every, at least minimum every order. So it, it don't bother me at all. But I do understand why some people would like the full tip. I understand that. But also I do know this, on some orders, some orders, not all of them, some orders, you are going to receive the full tip on some order. It depends on if it's a small order or a larger order. So on a larger orders, you will receive the full tip. Guess what else? In some areas, this app also has routes. So you can go on a low route. You can go drop off uh, pre-cooked meals to different houses and stuff like that. Pretty similar to drop off. So this app is different than all the other apps. This has catering as well as routes. It's only available in certain areas though. So hey, if it ain't in your area, it ain't in your area. Hey, don't, hey, don't come try to fight me. I will no, I will no, I will no problem. For some areas you're gonna be able to do the route, and some areas you are not gonna be able to do a route. But it's a variety of different types of orders you can do on this app. Now, personally, the routes are not in my area, but the owner did say he is planning on expanding the routes to different areas. So he's again, he's just now starting off this company. So you guys want to give us a little bit, give him a little bit of time. He got to get everything situated. We have another other apps that's been out for longer than his. So understand that this takes time. Rome was not built in a day. It was like nine months. It took my mom like nine months. <laughs> It took my mom like nine months for me to come out. So we want the money not to come. So remember that. Now, as I, now, as I told you guys in the beginning of the video, 
I will not be telling you guys the app yet. Please do not comment a thousand times, what is the app? If you, hey, if you in the comments and say, what is the app? I need everybody else to say, hey, you ain't watch the video. Watch the full video. Watch the full video. Make sure you guys spam there with watch the full video. Understand that this is going to take some time. It's going to be out as soon as possible. But make sure you smash the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you know when I drop this video. Because the faster you know, the faster you can sign up, and the faster you can go out there and get this money like it ain't funny. So make sure you guys do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And you already know what we're doing. Back tomorrow. It's going back down because we ain't playing around. Because all 2024, all we're doing is put up to up. Uh, Go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going for you. You already know in DDK. And I'm on my way.